Poland has taken in more than half of the Ukrainians who fled their country in recent months, and Poles have opened their homes to the mostly women and children who have come to them. According to Agnieszka Kosowicz, president of the non-profit Polish Migration Forum. Overwhelming majority of Poles not only are assisting migrants or helping migrants or declaring pro-migrant sympathies, but just directly involve and host refugees in their homes. All over Poland, there are Ukrainian flags and other signs of solidarity. In this park in Warsaw, flowers represent the yellow and blue Ukrainian flag. But Kosovich says such enthusiasm is bound to diminish. Maybe flowers are a good example because they die. <laughs> she says enthusiasm may wane as the burden grows on Poland's schools, hospitals, and more. We expect that it will slow down because um, there is something like uh, compassion fatigue. And uh, basically it's difficult to, to maintain this high level of involvement and support for long uh, term. As Ukrainians take jobs in Poland, tensions may also unfold over the labor market. It's a concern for residents like Sonia, who did not provide a surname when she spoke with VOA near a refugee center in Krakow. The Polish uh, people don't have uh, work. The, because Ukraine go. The, to oh, Poland. because the, the Ukrainians take the job? No, yeah, job. Yeah. Official low unemployment figures contradict that sentiment, even though in the past three months around 100,000 Ukrainian refugee women have found jobs here. But when the war started, an estimated 800,000 jobs, mostly in construction, were left vacant when Ukrainian men returned home to fight the Russian invaders. While most Ukrainian refugees here want to go back home, Agnieszka Kosovich says many of them may not have that option. I think that right now we know that there will be people who will not be going back, even if the war finishes tomorrow, uh, because they have nothing to go back to. Recalling the painful history of what both Ukraine and Poland experienced in World War II and under Soviet domination, Kosovich says people from both nations yearn for hostilities to stop. But there's still no end in sight. Greg Flakus for VOA News, Warsaw.